Hugh Jackman is a recognized Hollywood star with an army of millions of fans. His bright talent and charisma helped the little-known Australian actor as the mutant Wolverine from the X-Men universe to conquer the world. But Jackman has not remained the performer of one role. His filmography is replenished diversified works from musicals and romantic melodramas to the adaptation of works of world literature. Childhood and Youth a Hugh Michael Jackman was born in Sydney under the Zodiac constellation of Libra in 1968. His English parents came to Australia as part of the program for the development of the Green Continent. The ancestors on his father's side are Greek by nationality. At the head of the family, Christopher Jackman, worked as an accountant, his mother Grace Watson took care of household chores and children. A Hugh the fifth child in a large family, has sisters Sonia and Zoe and brothers Ian and Ralph. In interviews, the actor tells us that Grace was ill. Undiagnosed postpartum depression caused a crisis that separated him from his mother. Hugh was eight years old when he came home from school and found himself in an empty house. His mother had left for London. A few years later the woman took her daughters in, leaving her sons in the care of their father. As a child, the boy hoped that his mother would return. All the brothers were angry and depressed and, according to the artist's recollections, quarreled a lot. Each of his parents settled his personal life after the divorce by remarrying. So Jackman had a stepmother Elizabeth, and from his mother a half-sister. Establish a relationship with Grace Hugh was able to only in 2009. At school, Jackman was fond of basketball and even became team captain. After that, the guy chose the University of Technology in Sydney, where he studied journalism. During this period, he grabbed for any job, as his family could not support him financially. Hugh worked at a gas station and in a restaurant, entertained children at the mall as a clown. According to the artist, even during his studies he realized that his character is too malleable for journalism. And near the end of his studies at university, Hugh was offered to choose additional courses. He stopped at the dramatic art, but was so keen that he decided to continue his education in theatrical college. After receiving a diploma in journalism, Jackman in 1991 joined the Acting Center in Sydney on a year-long acting course, and after three years he studied at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts. Theatre Hugh Jackman's creative biography would be incomplete without mentioning his theatrical work. Here the actor has achieved as much success as in the film industry. Upon graduation from theatre school, Hugh, who was able to sing and dance perfectly, noted in the musicals Beauty and the Beast and Sunset Boulevard. But both received several awards and warm reviews from critics. In the late 1990s, the actor received an invitation from the National Theatre Royal in London to play in the musical Oklahoma. The production was a huge success, and Jackman was twice nominated for the highest theatrical award of the United Kingdom Lawrence Olivier. Since then, Hugh often plays on Broadway. Outstanding acting on stage and in film gave him the right to be among the best actors in Australia in 1999. In 2003 Jackman was offered to play in the musical Phantom of the Opera, but he refused and preferred the production of The Boy from Oz by his countryman Peter Allen. Uh, the play was a record collection. Uh, the actor himself won the so-called Triple Crown of Broadway, major theatre awards. Movies Jackman's cinematic biography began in his student years. His first work was filmed for Australian television, and therefore outside the country are not as well known. A turning point for Hugh was in 1999, when the Australian actor was approved at the last moment in the role of Wolverine in the superhero action movie X-Men. From that moment his career in Hollywood began. In 2001, Jackman paired with Meg Ryan appeared on screen in the comedy film Kate and Leopold. For the image of the nobleman Leopold, charming and romantic, the actor was nominated for Golden Globe. A similar award, as well as an Oscar nomination, went to the soundtrack of this romantic comedy, performed by Sting.
In the same year, Hughes starred with John Travolta, Hal Berry, and Don Cheadle in the action movie Swordfish. The picture was successfully released in cinemas and then on DVD, but cinephiles remembered not so much acting star cast as the naked breasts of Barry. In 2004, the actor starred as a vampire hunter in the fantasy film Van Helsing. The writer and director of the film Stephen Sommers said that Jackman was the only actor he wanted to see in the title role. Jackman was helped by Kate Beckinsale. Richard Roxburgh, David Wenham, and others to create a unique atmosphere. A one of the notable works in the filmography of the actor became the picture The Prestige by Christopher Nolan, which also starred Christian Bale and Scarlett Johansson. A tape about a magician with a budget of $40 million brought in the box office $110 million. A Hugh and Bale practiced sleight of hand with a real magician Ricky Jay, who played in the film. Of the thriller received two Oscar nominations for art direction and camera work. Jackman and Johansson's collaboration continued in Woody Allen's Scoop. Its budget was only $4 million, while at the box office she almost 10 times justified the production costs, making the box office of $39 million. Another famous actress with whom Hugh managed to work on the screen in a pair was Nicole Kidman in Australia. Before the role was offered to Jackman, she had time to refuse Russell Crowe and Heath Ledger. The epic drama cost $130 million to make, but the costumes were so good that they paid off at the box office and received an Oscar nomination. Another historical costume film in Jackman's creative biography is Tom Hooper's dramatic musical Les Miserables, an adaptation of the famous novel by Victor Hugo. In addition to Hugh, the cast includes Amanda Seyfried, Helena Bonham Carter, and Anne Hathaway, who won an Oscar for her role. The cast performed the musical parts by themselves, with the clean sound recorded right on the set during the filming of the scenes. A microphones and headphones, through which the actors heard the music, were removed from the frames with special effects. In December of the same year on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Australian actor's name star appeared. A Forbes magazine included him in the rating of the most influential men. In the top three then were Robert Downey Jr. and Leonardo DiCaprio. But most critics regard Hugh Jackman's best role in the film Prisoners. This detective thriller was released in 2013 and was nominated for an Oscar and three times for the Sputnik Award winning the National Council of American Film Critics, which included it in the list of the 10 best films of the year. The Jackman's partners on the project include Jake Gyllenhaal and Paul Dano as the antagonist and the victim. In the biographical drama musical The Greatest Showman directed by Michael Gracie, Hugh embodied the American entrepreneur Phineas Taylor Barnum, head of one of the most popular traveling circuses of the Roman 19th century. Uh, the film grossed $435 million at the box office, repeatedly justifying its $84 million budget. Uh, critics praised the picture with Golden Globe nominations, and the composition This Is Me was a contender for an Oscar. Uh, the soundtracks from the circus movie were released on The Greatest Showman, original motion picture soundtrack CD. Uh, songs from this album as well as compositions from Broadway productions, were performed by Hugh on his world tour with The Man. The music of the show. Interestingly, fans discerned in The Greatest Showman a hello from Wolverine crossed claws framing the opening credits. In the spring of 2019, the full-length animated film Missing Link premiered, in which a scientist naturalist speaks in the actor's voice. Zach Galifianakis, Zoe Saldana, and Timothy Oliphant also joined the voice team. Uh, the stop-motion animated puppet film received good reviews from critics and earned $26 million at the box office, but it was a flop as the project cost $100 million. X-Men uh, Doug Ray Scott turned down the job in the Marvel film because the X-Men shooting schedule coincided with the Mission Impossible sequel. A director Brian Singer saw his friend Russell Crowe as the comic book star. Uh, but he was worried that the superhero would be associated with the newly released Gladiator. 
he suggested a replacement in the person of Jackman. Uh, the film, released in 2000, was expected to incredible success. Uh, the role of Wolverine brought international fame actor. Uh, the main problem for Hugh was the personality of the character, little spoken, but at heart a storm of emotions. In the process of searching for a solution to the problem, the actor realized that his own life experience could be a source of inspiration. A memories of mother, abandoned the family, awakened in Jackman fear, loneliness and anger, which was required by the plot of the picture. In addition, in determining the nature of Wolverine actor helped colleagues Dirty Harry by Clint Eastwood and Mad Max by Mel Gibson. A relief muscle, he acquired through the advice of Dwayne Scala Johnson, the star of Jumanji and Fast and Furious, and the psyche he trained by Stanislavski's system pouring cold water on himself. A wife Hugh. By the way, the first three pages of the script had concluded that the story of a mutant and ridiculous husband should not be removed there. Deborah was dissuaded by the commercial success of the action film. In 2003, Hugh Jackman was involved in the continuation of the picture, which made him a star ex duo, and in 2006 in X-Men The Last Stand. In yet another spin-off, X-Men Origins Wolverine, Hugh not only embodied Logan, but also became one of the producers. At the premiere of the picture, the actor arrived on a motorcycle Harley Davidson Hydra Glide, involved in the filming of the heroic film, which did not part ways with his film hero. Uh, the film also featured a Ducati Dival Promo motorcycle and Audi 2014 rate V10 Spider and Audi e L cars. In the picture on the world of Marvel the Wolverine the company of the Hollywood celebrity was Svetlana Kodchenkova. Jackman said that Russia should be proud of such an actress. She's amazingly talented. I noticed her back in Tinker Tailor's Soldier Spy and when her candidacy came up, we all agreed that she was perfect for the role. In 2014, an amusing incident happened to the artist on the set. During the filming of an intimate episode, Hugh insisted on removing all bystanders. After completing the scene, he rushed to the dressing room and suddenly found himself naked in front of several women from the crew. Attempting to cover himself, Jackman cut his leg with Wolverine's claws. The actor spoke ironically about the situation. Fortunately, it was only the inner thigh. Hugh expressed his willingness to play Wolverine as long as it interested him. Uh, thus X-Men First Class, X-Men Apocalypse and X-Men Days of Future Past were released. Employment in the project did not allow Jackman to star in another part of the Bond film, which he later regretted. Uh, there is no place empty. Then the role was given to Daniel Craig. According to other information, Hugh asked to change the script of the story about Agent 007 because he found the plot implausible. Hearing the refusal, he preferred to decline the invitation. In 2017, the sci-fi action movie Logan came out, after which the actor said that he was tired of the image of the clawed result of a genetic experiment, which upset the fans a lot. A personnel from previous films as if to say goodbye flashed in the superhero movie Deadpool 2, and then Ryan Reynolds promised to convince his friend not to give up the story of Wolverine. However, Hugh was adamant, and let the shooting in the X-Men was funny, at times bordering on indecency, as Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy told the Graham Norton show, the actor decided that no further way. Jackman was only worried that the role would not be given to Daniel Day-Lewis in the future, who is able to win an Oscar even in this character. He himself was in favor of Tom Hardy's candidacy. It did not influence the decision of the actor and the fact that his character has set the Guinness Book of Records for longevity. Wolverine was on the screen for 16 years and 228 days. Of the same amount of time the creators have allocated mutant Charles Xavier played by Patrick Stewart. However, the record was subsequently taken away by Robert Downey Jr. with his Iron Man. Advertisement Jackman often becomes the hero of commercials. Of the sporty man with a charming smile was chosen as an ambassador for the Mont Blanc Company, a manufacturer of luxury accessories.
Using the language of dance, the actor told about the benefits of Lipton brand products, sitting behind the wheel of premium cars Audi and Toyota. On the grounds of advertising held a kind of reconciliation hue with Ryan Reynolds. A colleagues are constantly teasing each other in life and in film projects. As a result, Reynolds took off advertising for the company Laughing Man Coffee, the face and owner of which is Jackman. In response, he received a video talking about the brand of Gin Aviation, which he represents. Personal Life uh, The Australian actor has a strong family. Hugh Jackman's personal life got better when he met Deborah Lee Furness on the set of Corelli. Uh, Deborah Lee played a female psychologist in prison, and Hugh portrayed her most troubled prisoner patient. The on-screen romance turned into a real relationship and a lasting marriage in 1996. Despite the fact that the wife is 13 years older than her husband, the couple is considered one of the strongest in the Hollywood Hills. By the way, because of the age difference, Deborah at first did not respond to Hugh's signs of attention and only gave up when her mother advised not to worry about such a minor matter. And Jackman's father wondered if his son's choice was related to a feeling of lack of maternal care. A furnace and award-winning film critic in Australia, she deals with the production company Seed Productions, founded by the couple together with John Palermo, producer of X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, the studio's debut project was the series Viva Laughlin, which was released in 2007. With regard to children, the couple had a plan to get two of their own, and then even adopt. Only the second point came true. A son Oscar Maximilian is non-white, and daughter Ava Elliot is half German and half Mexican. A furnace and Jackman were present at the boy's birth and deliberately took a child of color, which many adoptive parents are deterred by. In addition, the actor's wife helps families and single women from African countries get bank loans and start their own businesses. In 2017, there were rumors that the star couple is on the verge of divorce. But the reason for this, as if the constant travels of Hugh, while Deborah remains in Australia. The actor's representative had to issue an official denial. Three years later, paparazzi have found another reason to be jealous furnace attributing her husband had an affair with Brooke Shields. Uh, the particularly attentive discerned that the man had stopped wearing his wedding ring. However, Jackman still has feelings for his second half like the first day and considers his marriage exemplary. Uh, the spouses are separated for a maximum of 36 hours. The distance is not an obstacle for them. If the head of the family is somewhere removed, the rest necessarily come to him. In an interview, the actor said, I make all my decisions in terms of how it will affect my marriage. As a philanthropist, Hughes supports organizations to combat global warming and poverty, the Australian Bone Marrow Institute, and the creative community The Art of Elysium. A proceeds from his coffee shop chain go to the Laughing Man Foundation, which funds educational programs. Lifestyle Jackman is a devout gourmet. He likes to cook himself, strictly following the recipe. In Russian cuisine he likes pancakes with black caviar. But indulge yourself to him very rarely. For the sake of keeping fit for the role of Wolverine, which he played for two decades, the artist had to sit on a strict diet and stick to the regime. The secret of Logan's excellent physical form on the screen is a five-course balanced diet with small indulgences in the menu once a week and a few hours in the gym every day. Alcohol is completely banned. A good physical fitness allows the actor to perform stunts on their own, trusting professional stuntmen only the most dangerous and wild. In his spare time Hugh Jackman plays golf, goes windsurfing, and meditates. And the actor does not smoke, and even tobacco scenes in the movies refers negatively. In the spring of 2020, Hugh joined a flash mob, telling about how not to get coronavirus. In the social network actor showed a video in which he washes his hands. And not all subscribers assessed the news positively. As some of them noted that Jackman irrationally spends water resources, does not turn off the tap. 
of the man decided not to enter the controversy and replaced the post with a new one in which the water no longer flows while he soaps his hands. Disease In 2013, the media spread information that the movie star was almost dying of skin cancer. Soon it turned out that Hugh had a mild form of basal cell carcinoma, which, fortunately, gives metastasis only in 10% of cases. So the state of the celebrity's health does not cause concern. The actor, who has had more than one surgery and does not deny the possibility of tumors, on his page and Instagram posts photos in bandages and encourages the use of sunscreen. In an interview, Jackman admitted that in his youth, even though he lived on the continent, where it is summer all year round, he had no idea what excessive insulation can do. In 2023, Hugh underwent two biopsies because the doctor found on his face suspicious neoplasms. As the actor shared the results with his followers, they were negative. Hugh Jackman now. And now Jackman continues his theatrical and film career. In 2022, he returned to Broadway in a revival of Man of Music, the famous Grammy, and five Tony award-winning production of the 1950s. A Florian Zeller's drama The Sun with Hugh Jackman, Vanessa Kirby, and Anthony Hopkins in the cast was included in the Venice Film Festival program. The picture broke out to a 10-minute standing ovation. According to media reports, Hugh will return to the role of Logan from the X-Men movie series in the superhero film Deadpool 3.